<laughs> hey, what's up, guys? This is John at Simply Sprouts Farm, and uh, we've got a really humid Saturday here in Virginia. And uh, taking the um, clochets off today, the homemade ones. And, uh, you know, our plan all along was to get established plants as well as put other plants in the garden that the um, squash bugs be attracted to and therefore we can target our killings just on those plants okay and that's worked fairly well I think so um, but a guy on Facebook and I'd like to give a big shout out to him um, it's R Carter jr. he's on Virginia vegetables gardens Virginia vegetable gardens uh, he recommended we give this a try um, it is called bioadvanced vegetable and garden insect spray okay um, this is rainproof in an hour or two so um, you use uh, an ounce per gallon and spray it now uh, unlike soap where you've got to spray the bug where I'm hoping that this can have some kind of barrier around these plants that have never been exposed to these bugs before so um, we're going to get out there and, and see what we can do. And thanks, our Car Carter Jr. We're, we're, uh, we're going to give us a try and uh, see how it works. Okay, so what we've done here is we've taken the cloches off for the most part. This, these two right here, I don't know if you watched my first segment on this. If not, go back and watch it. This first section here I took off about a week ago. And you can already see we got problems. Squash bug right there. So, and I took the rest of these off. Uh, but it's party time for them. I didn't take this off at the very end over here, even though the middle is open. Just maybe to give them a little bit more protection because those plants are still pretty small. So I've sprayed this guy and he's just kind of still walking along, minding his own business. Uh, here comes another one too. I think I already sprayed him. Yeah, I, that's the same one I sprayed. There's two of them. There's another one. I'm going down, I'm going to grab them. All right. He's been sprayed now. So I'll go put him with his other friend. And just give him one scope around to see if there's anybody else. And I'd like to come for a little ride right now. No? Okay. Let's put him in with his buddy. I got two squash bugs that I sprayed, but unfortunately, I think I squished one of them. And so this one's still in here. I'm gonna guess keep an eye on him. <coughs> See if this stuff works. All right, so unlike soap, I'm just spraying this around and I like to get underneath the leaves too. Um, soap, you have to, you gotta hit that bug uh, in order to kill it. And um, I'm hoping that this will leave some residuals so if a bug does come by a squash bug comes by um it will kill it there's one right there 
and he's not acting so weird well so maybe maybe this stuff is working now again it's getting towards evening here i think the bees are done for the day so i don't want to don't want to hurt the bees but uh i also got to protect your crop too and just keep spraying around and that's all i'm going to do and we've released these so they are going to be susceptible to whatever is out here and i'm just trying to give them a little added layer of protection hey folks a couple of things i wanted to clarify on this video um you know we used a pump sprayer which is you, know, you can get one two three gallon pump sprayers from lowe's home depot tractor supply any of these places around and um, that's what we use to spray for all our stuff here at the farm <clears throat> so so you can get one you know a lot of times it's easier to get a one or a two gallon um, because it's lighter weight but obviously it doesn't hold as much but as I mentioned in this video we only really used a gallon to spray on pretty much all of our plants so um, for those of you that don't have a whole lot of upper body strength you know certainly a one gallon would be fine also as I showed earlier we captured some of these squash bugs and we put them in a cup actually I captured five one of them I do think I squished because I tried to get the door open and the door was locked and I, I think I squished him so but of the four that were still alive we're not going to show that part of the video just you know, no sense in seeing it all four of them died so I'm very confident that um, certainly this uh, the spray at least by spraying them directly does kill them which is a huge huge great piece of news for us as I other than soap and water I've never found anything that really does kill them on contact so anyway I wanted to clarify those two items so we'll get you back to uh, having fun out there in the dirt now you'll notice I took all of it off over here because the one over here is a prefabricated one and I like to keep that one so it's over there at the end but this tool here I'm not going to keep because you know we had um, a uh, groundhog get in here and he bit through this stuff trying to eat things and I'm going to leave it on here because it does make kind of a nice bowl for for these plants the watermelons over here have just exploded and <laughs> not the biggest watermelon eating family but we might be this year because they have just they've gone crazy they've gone up the sides you can see right there they're coming into the plants so i'm going to do that and uh just keep this tool out here obviously it's still uh I still got hooks um the stakes in the ground so it'd be hard to get everything out right now anyway on these so just leave it out here and oh, there's, there's one of our buddies over here see him and there's one right there yeah they're certainly um not afraid to come out and try to lay claim to all this new real estate gonna keep spraying this stuff around and if we see another bug we're gonna spray him too there's a grasshopper so guys uh it looks like this stuff works and now we'll know over the coming weeks when we start to see squash growing if this is work now you're only supposed to spray this about four times a year i believe please read the instructions for this thing um yourself if you decide to use it but um we're only supposed to spray it about four times a year and uh, we may give it another shot in another couple weeks you know we sprayed it was just a little bit over a gallon that we sprayed out there but it it took a long ways around uh, where our squash was so the only one the only thing I didn't spray was the cucumbers and um, they're having problems of their own I don't think it has anything to do with squash bugs it has a lot to do with this crazy Virginia weather we've had this summer so anyway I uh, hope you liked our our video if you like our videos especially if you want to join the war against the squash bugs you know please subscribe to our channel please like our video and until next time 
take care, take care, and God bless, and we'll see you soon.